Renee is at the uh, sport Arizona Sports Complex training facility. This is pretty new in North Phoenix. Yeah, and uh, they yeah. are, it's like a world class uh, location. You got people yeah. from all over the globe there, right, Renee? Really cool. Yeah. yeah. You guys, I mean, take a look at this facility. It's pretty incredible. And the students that are out here today, these athletes are actually from Italy. So we are north in the valley right now, but the students are from overseas and they're coming here specifically for this camp. And we're talking to Peter this morning, who's running this whole thing. Peter, tell me why these students are here and what they're doing. Well, um, we have to go back a few years uh, to understand the imp impetus of the camp was my experience. I was uh, a British a student in England. I was born in London, and uh, I came to the States when I was 14 for my first basketball camp, and it changed my life. Um, here I am, you know, 20-plus uh, years later, um, got an opportunity after playing professional basketball for 13 years to house these kids in Arizona. We've done it eight years in a row, or excuse me, eight years total. We skipped a year, and it's been really influential in giving these kids an opportunity to see our great state of Arizona, to come here to our training center, learn basketball, travel on the weekends, go to Las Vegas, San Diego, and have a blast and meet new kids, American kids in this instance, and they stay with host families too, which are all families that participate in our uh, programs, our, our, our uh, seasonal, seasonal programs here at Future Stars. Wow, so what are, they, what are they learning when they're out here? Skills, training, I mean, are they coming where they already know how to play? What are they doing? Yeah, I have a unique philosophy when it comes to sports. I'm not, um, very, very few kids are gonna make it to be professional athletes. And so the elite athlete is something that's coveted, obviously, by a lot of programs. I don't care about that. Uh, my focus is that, uh, our focus is that we want to be able to give these kids an opportunity to play sports and learn about life, right? So the character development, the life skills, learning how to lose, learning how to win with humility, um, learning how to develop themselves, and learning how to solve problems based on failures. So those are the things that we look at here. And I think basketball is a great conduit, and of course volleyball is a great conduit to be able to do that for these kids, and they have a really good time. Uh, and you see them grow and develop over three weeks. Think about it. Three weeks, seven hours a day, 20, 28 hours a week. I can't do the math that fast, but it's a lot of hours of basketball. I can't do the volleyball. math that fast yeah. either. But you said also on the weekends they have an opportunity to travel, so yeah. it's not all sports. No, it isn't. Uh, and they also have English language lessons during the day and, and cultural lessons. So we have an academic piece that we integrate because academics is more important than sports, obviously. And, yeah, they get to travel to Las Vegas. We went to Las Vegas this weekend. We saw the Summer League. They got to meet some NBA players, JaVale McGee. Uh, they saw Zion. And then uh, this weekend we go to San Diego to hang out, see some animals at the zoo. I'm actually really excited about the zoo. I haven't been to a zoo for the last uh, 25 years, so I'm wow. excited. Well, Phoenix has got a great zoo here, too, but we understand you're going to San Diego. But, uh, hey, guys, coming up, we're going to uh, talk to Peter again, some of these students from Italy, and we're going to test out, well, hmm? Peter's skills, my skills. Oh, yeah, good. we're testing my skills as well. And some of these guys here on the court, so we'll see in just a little oh, bit. Peter I cannot looks, wait to see you post up on Peter. Yeah, no, Peter looks like his mad skills, doesn't he? Yes, he does. My good, can you imagine like... Uh. Well, Renee is checking out an international youth sports camp at the Arizona Sports Complex training facility. Wow, you really got your lunch fed to you there, Renee. That was yeah. a pretty hard swap. Let's give it another try. You know, I, I've never been blocked like that ever. Uh huh. So, um, he really I think most people let me win. Peter, not on that uh, program. He also said, in order for me to coach here, with my skill level being where it's at right now, to take me approximately 12 years. So, here's someone who won't take 12 years to get it done. Angelica, you've been here. This is your second year. Tell me about your experience. My experience here was perfect. We had lots of fun playing basketball. The experience of weekend going out to Vegas, to Los Angeles, having to experience playing with American guys, American players was perfect. We had a lot of fun. We learned a lot of new things and how basketball is different here from where we come from, from all Europe. And so it was really nice. Angelica, how old are you? I'm 14. Okay, so are you, uh, what grade is that equal to? It's uh, sixth grade. I've just, no, it's eighth grade. I've just finished eighth grade and I'm going to ninth grade. Wow, that's great. Well, we we'll hope you'll have a good time in San Diego. I know you're going there as well to uh, the zoo. But there's some of the coaches out here even that started as campers themselves and are now here, uh, you know, as coaches. Peter, we're talking about, you know, some of these guys that have been with you for a while. Yeah, um, it's kind of interesting actually. Uh, Paolo and uh, Tommy, I played with Tommy's brother, uh, Ivan Gato, and Paolo, both of those guys came to our first edition of the camp. 
Um, so it's been a while, but now they're back as coaches and they're professional athletes in, uh, in Italy. And it's good to see them because they've really taken a lot of the things that we, you know, a lot of those seeds we initially implanted in them, just about the values of teaching and, and mentorship. They've really taken those things to task and they do, they do a wonderful job. Now we're uh, seeing athletes here from Italy, but you, I mean, go all over the world and you have a new partnership that you're working on with Great Hearts here? Yeah, Great Hearts Schools, we're working on uh, USA Youth Tours and Great Hearts Schools, working on trying to get a uh, program together to be able to bring kids from Great Hearts Schools to Italy for a cultural experience and a sporting experience with some of the top soccer and basketball and volleyball clubs in Italy. Uh, and England. So wow. we're excited about it. It's giving those kids that opportunity. What's your website? How can people see what you're doing? Um, you can go to usayouthtours.com or futurestarsusa.com. Two different websites, very similar programs. One, one uh, caters to our international contingent and the other one is more local. Thank you, Peter. We're going to play some more, but I think I'm going to ice instead. <laughs> Maybe some cryotherapy. <laughs> Oh no! Maybe they have an ice bath there for you. Yeah, they might have ice baths off to the side. Oh look, he's going one-handed. Ooh, not bad. Kabam! Yeah. Layout back.